Hello, welcome to the Eclipse Development Platform, Introduction, Download, and Installation. My name is Cesar Cantua and I'm an IT Specialist for the IBM Developer Skills Team. Today we're going to learn a little bit about Eclipse. If you've heard of Eclipse but have never used it, this is a good starting point. I'll begin the demo by giving you a short introduction to Eclipse and the Eclipse architecture. I will then show you how and where to download, install, and set up the Eclipse framework. Let's begin. So what exactly is Eclipse? Eclipse is much more than just a platform. It's an entire community. The Eclipse Foundation is a not-for-profit member-supported corporation that hosts the Eclipse projects and helps cultivate both an open source community and an ecosystem of complementary products and services. The actual Eclipse framework, which is what we're going to download, is a Java-based set of services for building applications from plugin components. Because of this, it encourages rapid development of integrated features. Eclipse comes with a standard set of plugins, including the Java Development Tools, JDT, but other plugins are available that include support for languages like C, C++, and COBOL, with features like rich client development, plugin development, and support for many, many different languages. Eclipse is a universal platform for anything and everything concerning software development. This is the Eclipse architecture. As you can see, it starts with the Eclipse platform as the base and everything else on top is a plugin. On the left, there is the Rich Client Platform Application plugin. On the right, we have the Plugin Development Environment, or PDE. And in the middle, we have the Development Tools. Some of these are the C, C++ Development Tools, or CDT, Business Intelligence Reporting Tools, or BERT, and Java Development Tools, JDT, among others. Different versions of Eclipse come with different features, but you can always add what you need. Now that you know a bit about Eclipse, let's download it and set it up. To get Eclipse, go to eclipse.org slash downloads. Here you'll see a list of the different types of Eclipse. We'll use the first one, Eclipse IDE for Java AE developers. Click on your operating system and the mirror that's closest to you. Choose a destination to save it and click OK. Next we'll download the Java Development Kit. Go to java.sun.com slash java se slash downloads you'll need the latest version for me it'll be java development kit 6 update 12 click download choose your platform Read the license agreement and check if you agree. Click continue. Check the checkbox and click on the link to download. This download will be a little quicker. Lastly, we'll need the Apache Tomcat server. Go to tomcat.apache.org. On the left side, you'll see the versions. Click on Tomcat 6.x. Scroll down to download the zip file. Save it and click OK. Once you've downloaded everything, you'll need to set up Eclipse. I've created an Eclipse folder where I've saved my files. We'll start by installing the Java Development Kit. It's a pretty simple install. Just click the icon, click Next, click Accept for the License Agreement, and you'll see these features. You can go through these if you like. I choose to leave them as is and click Next. 
Once it's finished installing, click Finish. The cool thing about Eclipse is you don't really have to install it. Once you download it, it's ready to go. All you have to do is unzip it. I use 7-Zip, and all I have to do is drag them out of the folder, and they'll be unzipped. I'll start with Eclipse. And I'll do the same for Apache. And we're all set. One last thing we have to do is get some updates and set up the server with Eclipse. To start Eclipse, open the folder and click on the icon. When it starts, it'll ask you for a workspace. I leave it as is and click OK. Here's a welcome screen. To update, Click on Help, Software Updates, and click on the Available Software tab. Expand the Ganymede tree, and here's a list of the development tools we talked about earlier. We'll be using everything except remote access development. So I'll check the checkbox to select all of them. And I'll uncheck remote development. Once you've done this, click install. It will take a while, so you have to be patient. Now it's asking me if I want to restart Eclipse, and I'll say no because I still need to set it up with Apache. So for now we'll click no, and we'll set up Apache. Go to Window, Preferences, open the server, click on Runtime Environments, and this is where we'll add the Tomcat. Click Add. Click on Apache Tomcat version 6.0 and click Finish. Now click on it again and you're going to want to edit it. Click Browse and find it wherever you downloaded it. Click OK and click Finish. Now click OK. And you're all set. You're ready to program. Thanks for watching, and click on the following links for additional resources.